KNDY. Good evening and welcome to High School Basketball. This is Max Blasky on KNDY Radio 95.5 AM 1570 and FM 94.1. Also online at sunflowerstateradio.com and in the KNDY mobile app. Good evening and welcome in from Marysville, home of the Bulldogs. It is senior night. Here in Northeast Kansas, Bruce Deerkin normally on the call here for the Bulldogs, a little bit under the weather, so get well there, Bruce. I'll take the reins here tonight. Well, Amigo comes into this contest here against Marysville. First girls action will be up. While Amigo comes in at a hot start, 17-1. and one. While Marysville looks to get a deciding win here late in the season as they come into the contest 5-13. and 13. We're about eight minutes away from tip-off here. We're going to take a timeout, bring you back, take a look how the season has gone for both of these squads as well as get a little bit of the preview of the girls' game coming up here in just a little bit. Once again, Marysville versus Wamigo live here on KNDY. Just like our area athletes work each day in practice to perform at their best in the big game, the staff at Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer, work daily to provide the best parts and service experience when you need it most. Bruna Implement Company has been family owned for three generations. We know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one. Bruna Implement Company since 1947. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health. Sunflower Community Credit Union. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Marysville today. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Max Blasky back with you here in Marysville, home of the Bulldogs. Senior night underway, last regular season game here for Marysville before sub-state action gets kicked off next Thursday. More than likely, boys will have a home game first round. Girls will be on the road, but we'll have to wait and see until tomorrow afternoon. Brackets will come out, of course. Stay tuned to KNDY. We'll keep those posted in the 5 o'clock and noon hour or news block. Of course, if you're wanting the news, swing on over, KNDY. Oh, I guess 95.5 already got it done with 6 o'clock hour done and over with. K-State basketball will be on the broadcast, too, tonight, later this evening, as soon as we get done here this afternoon. They are playing the late game here tonight. In front of us, the Red Raiders come into Marysville boasting a 7-1 record, a matchup of a game that took place early on in the season back on January 13th. While Miga was able to get a win in that girls game, 38-25, to absolutely stymied the Marysville offense. Four starters scored in that game for Marysville, but other than that, Lindsey Dressman led the way with 10. Other than that, it was a low show night for the Bulldogs on the wall. Migo in 21 points for Ashton Pearson and 24 points for Trista Hobbler, who absolutely erupted in that contest, as well as 21 off the bench for Lexi Heck. So, some high-scoring offense here tonight for Walmigo, a team that averages 62 points a game, a Bulldogs team that only averages 36. 
We'll see if they can keep it slow, keep it smart, and play some good basketball here tonight to send their two seniors out with a win. We're going to take one more break, preview the seniors on both the boys and girls side for the Bulldogs here tonight as we're about four minutes away from tip between the Red Raiders and the Bulldogs live on KNDY 94.1 AM 1570 and, of course, on sunflowerstateradio.com. Anyone can sell you soybean seed. Channel Seedsman plays product to perform. With Channel Extend Flex Soybeans and Channel Roundup Ready to Extend Soybeans, you'll get the superior weed control you want and the high yield potential you need. Make the most of next season with the Roundup Ready Extend Crop System and expert recommendations from Channel Seedsman. Ask a seedsman in your area for recommendations for your fields. Check with your state pesticide regulatory agency for specific restrictions in your state. Always read and follow pesticide label directions. It's service you can always trust at Sink Gordon & Associates in Waterville and Marysville. Their experience in all matters of farm, business, and individual income tax planning and preparation, estates and trust, accounting and payroll services too. Call Chad Parker in Waterville at 363-2263 or Aaron Wright in Marysville at 562-3858. Sink Gordon & Associates, comprehensive and innovative accounting in Northeast Kansas since 1946. With text order options, competitive daily pricing, and no wrap requirements, Kramer Oil has everything to make your next propane or fuel order a breeze. This is Chad Kramer. Our goal at Kramer Oil is to deliver dependable, reliable products to your home or business at the best value and with the best customer service around. Visit us online at KramerOil.com and see how we can serve you. The Kramer family, proudly serving your family since 1976. If you need a tractor that's small but mighty, Can Equip in Marysville has just the ticket. The Workmaster 25S subcompact tractor from New Holland. With 25 horsepower, a three-point hitch, rear PTO, and mid-PTO, it handles chores a garden tractor just can. Plus, this economical tractor gives you deluxe comfort and simple two-pedal operation that makes it easy to mow, load, dig, grade, and more. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville to learn more about the Workmaster 25S. Max Blasky back with you here in Marysville, home of the Bulldogs on a senior night that for the girls will send off two seniors, Bren O'Neill and Maddie Cap, the lone two seniors on this Marysville girls squad. Last home game here for them. Less than sub-state able to get some victories. Of course, those brackets will come out tomorrow. There are 10 seniors on the boys' team as well. We'll preview those before the boys' matchup coming up. Go ahead and give a shout-out to, to the Marysville wrestlers. They're going to take off Friday for Hayes. Four qualifiers in the boys' division. Tavin Wilson, Keegan Warders, Carter Trimble, and Dakota Slupionic, as well as Ella Johnson, Jenica Hubbard, and Rose Latta qualifying on the girls' side, too, as well for state wrestling kicking off on Friday. Going to be honored, too, here this afternoon at halftime. One more 30-second break before I bring you starters for this matchup between the Red Raiders and the Bulldogs live here on KNDY. Are you done yet? I need to get ready. Well, maybe you should have gotten up sooner. You've been in there for an hour. Come on, I need in there. Does this happen at your home? Would you like to eliminate all the yelling and buy a bigger house? Well, you can by talking with United Bank and Trust about home loans. Go online to www.ubankonline.com or head to your local branch to visit with a loan officer. United Bank and Trust. You bank, we deliver. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Back here in Marysville, tip-off is ready here. Senior night underway, home of the Bulldogs, as the Red Raiders of Wamego have made the trip here north for this Tuesday night, North Central Kansas League action. 
Bulldogs come into this contest with a record of 5-13, and 4-4 four and four in the North Central Kansas League record, while the Walmigo Red Raiders come in hot, state ranked number one in Class 4A, 17-1 and one overall, 8-0 and oh in North Central Kansas League game. Last loss for the Raiders came all the way back on January 17th at the Bonner Springs, who is state ranked two as well. So rematch two from January. Let's see what the Bulldogs have in store for the Red Raiders tonight. First starters for the Red Raiders. We're going to know number three, Alexi Heck, a 5'6 freshman. Number 10, Addison Denny, a 5'10 senior. Number 11, Maya Gallagher, a 5'9 senior. Number 12, Ashton Dearson, a 5'5 senior. And number 23, Sarah Victor Reed, a 5'5 sophomore. The Walmiga Red Raiders are head coached by Rebecca Jones and assisted coach by Brian McIntosh. So the Red Raiders will go Denny, Gallagher, Pearson, Heck, and Reed. Now, for the home-sided Marysville Bulldogs, same starting lineup they've had all season and the last two times in the starting lineup for the two seniors. Number three, Bella Raider, a 5'6 junior. Number four, Bren O'Neill, a 5'5 senior. Number 11, Haley Ingalls, a 5'10 junior. Number 15, Maddie Cap, 5'7 senior. And number 21, Lindsey Dressman, a 5'8 sophomore. The Bulldogs are, of course, head coached by Ben Wurtenberger. Assistant coach J.I. Morgan and Sarah Hager. Bulldogs go Raider, O'Neill, Ingles, Cap, and Dressman as the final starting five for the 2022-2023 regular season finale here in Marysville. A rematch of a contest from back in January, one in which Wamiga was going, able to come away with an impressive 83-25 to victory down in Wamiga. Now a home matchup here for the Bulldogs. Let's see what they have in store for the Raiders. Of course, under first-year head coach Ben Wurtenberger had a chance to talk to him all season on the coach's corner. Catch those every Friday at about 5.30 after sports during football and basketball season. Talked about this this game a little bit, and obviously a good team coming in. Wamiga ranked number one in Class 4A, but a chance for his girls to get a little confidence before Substate starts. It's going to be Dressman. It's going to be Reed for the tip. First tip's going to go off of Reed. Go Marysville's or Wamigo's way. Wamigo will be in their home blacks with white Wamigo across the chest and white numerals. Marys will be in their home whites with red numerals and red letters across the chest. First stoppage in play here as we have a little situation getting out the scorebook situated. Got that all squared away. Walmigo's first possession of the game. That's going to be Heck going to inbound it. Top of the key. It's going to go handoff to Dearson. Dearson's going to work west side now. Three ball on the top of the key straight away up and down from Alexis Heck as the freshman starts off the contest hot here with a three in that game against Mary Zill a month or so ago. Heck came off the bench in that contest for 21 points, had three points too as well. So the first one bucket of the night goes down for Amigo. They take the early 3 nothing lead. Here's a nice little floater on the other end from Bren O'Neill. The senior getting in the scoring action first off for the Bulldogs now as they cut this deficit back to one early first quarter action. Top of the lane goes diving in there. That's Tristan Hubler. The 5'7 senior is going to draw a foul on the contact. It's going to be in. Actually, a jump ball is going to be the call there. Saw, saw an official with a foul. The jump ball is the call. Possession goes over now to Marysville. They'll have their second possession here. Still trailing by one. 7-10 left. We're going to have a carry out top as Dressman going to get away from the pressure of the Red Raiders. Good job out top by Hubler applying that pressure. Getting the bucket and the turnover goes back now towards Guamigo. Top the key, that's Hubler going to run a pick and roll with Gallagher. An illegal string going to set by Maya Gallagher, the senior for Guamigo, picks up her first personal foul, first foul either team. 
Home Eagles going to come out in a straight man-to-man full court press as they like to do. A team that gets up and down the court, 62 points per game on average on the offensive end. A lot of that stems from the defense, almost a near steal there, but O'Neal gets it back, gets it off the dressman, just barely gets it across half court. That was about nine and a half seconds, nonetheless, still over there. O'Neal has trouble with it right side, hounded tightly by Heck. She's going to get it off here, top side, top of the key towards Ingles. Ingles is going to be fouled hard as she goes to the floor. First, second foul now on Denny. Second team foul now for Wamigo. 3-2 early first quarter action. Marysville trailing by one. Three ball on the way. From the right corner is up and down by Lindsey Dressman. The sophomore with a big triple here to start this contest off. Get her scoring going. Marysville takes a two-point lead. Down along the left baseline, there goes Denny. Denny's going to go up, have it partially blocked off the bottom of the backboard. It's going to stay Wamigo's way. Dressman, who just hit that three for the Bulldogs, had 10 points in the first contest against Juan Migo. So already almost a third of the way here tonight. Her team that only scored seven points in that first, first contest for Marysville, five already on the board here. Three ball on the way from Amigo, shot up, no good. Offensive rebound pulled down and taken in by Tristan Hubler. The senior gets her first points to go on the board as Amigo's tied it up here at fives. Raiders going to push left side, try and kick it into the corner to Dressman. Hand stuck out there by Hubler as the senior nearly forces a turnover, but it's going to stay with the Bulldogs now. Same man-to-man, Raider out top, guarded tightly there by Deerson. And that's going to be a turnover as Deerson gets her hand on it. She's going to go right-hand lane, left-handed pass up. No good shot there from Gallagher, and Marisol comes away with it. Raider's going to go full court pass all the way up to Cap. Cap, right-hand layup, up and down. Good transition offense there for the Marysville Bulldogs, the team that doesn't necessarily get out and run too terribly much. Took advantage of it there, and an easy two gives Marysville the two-point lead. Three ball straight along, along from Dearson is going to be no good. Rebound pulled down by Ingles. 7-5 is our score. First quarter action here in Marysville. Bulldogs versus the Raiders in this final season wrap-up here in Mary's. The left hand to lay it from the side is up and no good by Raider. Offensive rebound pulled down. So by Ingles up and one. Haley Ingles with the big putback and one opportunity as she's now going to go to the line here for the old-fashioned three-point play. <laughs> That foul is going to go against 25. Tristan Hubler, the senior, picks up her first. Shot's going to be off to the right. No good as Ingles goes 0-4-1 there from the line. Marysville still holding the slight four-point of Anzo first quarter play. Right side, thought about a three, was Pearson. Now she gets into the lane, up and down. Ashton Pearson, the senior, with her first bucket here of the evening. That contest against Marysville, she had 21 in the tire game, 18 in that first half. So really erupted in the first half there. First substitution for the Bulldogs. Caden Spurgeon's going to come into the contest along with Grace Winkler. Checking out will be Dressman and Cap. Underneath their own basket, Almigo has it. Inbound's going to go quickly inside to Denny. Denny's going to kick it back out. Top the key to Hubler. Hubler gets it off to Pearson. Pearson right back into the lane. There's a slap on the arm. No foul's going to be called. Good defensive board pulled down by Spurgeon, who just got into the contest. It's going to be a jump ball stay with Almigo, but she fought for that one. Tooth and nail with Gallagher. 9-7, 4.30 left to play here. First quarter action. Mary's the leading this one against number one state ranked Juan Mika. There's a nice little backdoor cut. Finds a cutting hobbler. Gets it to the right block, but smartly kicks it out. Good defense here by the Dodge. Straight man-to-man defense. Staying in front. Gets outside. There's going to be a 24-and-a-half footer. Shot's going to be off. No good from Denny. Board's going to be pulled down by Gallagher. Third opportunity now for Wamigo on this possession. Pearson make him pay. She will. Ashton Pearson with a three ball from the right wing as she cans that one. And it's going to force Ben Wurtenberger to take a timeout. We'll take it with him. Mary's will trailing 10-9 first quarter action. Tension in Marysville is a leading national manufacturer and marketer of custom envelope products. 
Great career opportunities include operations, sales, customer service, accounting, tech, and administrative support. Go online to tensioncorp.com for the careers tab for more details on currently available opportunities. And apply today with Tension Corporation in Marysville, an equal opportunity employer. Max Blasky back with you here on this Tuesday evening in Marysville. Last matchup here for the Bulldogs before Substate kicks off on Thursday. Not 10 to 9 is our score. Four minutes left to play here. First quarter action. Marysville comes out offensively hot here. They've scored nine points already in their first match with Malmigo back in January. Only seven. Three ball is up and down for Malmigo. That's going to be Hubler who gets her first triple to go down now in the contest. Walmigo takes a 13-9 lead. Bella Raider down the left side. Offensive foul is going to be the call. Not a lot of shoulder on that one, but nonetheless, a little antsy going down the lane. First foul of the afternoon is going to go against the Bulldogs and Raider. Senior night here in Marysville. There's a nice little backdoor pass for Walmigo. Good pass top. The key is Hubler gets another one. Pass was set up top there by Denny, the senior to the fellow senior, as Hubler already now has seven here in this contest. Inbound pass is going to be off of Marysville on the inbound. A lot of straight man-to-man pressure getting her hand in there with Pearson, who's been all over the court. So it's going to be a turnover on the inbound back to the Red Raiders it goes. Substitution as Gallagher is going to take a seat on the bench. First check-in now for Riley Meinhardt, the former Marysville Bulldog, into the contest. Three ball from Pearson, left side, shot to be no good. Fought for between Meinhardt and Raider. It's going to fall in the hands there of Alexis Heck, who gets her second bucket to go now while Migo pushing this one up. 17-9 to nine is our score. Raiders going to run point, bringing across the timeline for the Bulldogs, guided tightly by Pearson as she goes to try and go right side. Getting out in the passing lane was Heck there, who's going to pick up a personal foul. So she gets the bucket on one and picks up the personal on the other. Of course, if you're looking for K-State foot basketball here tonight, check out after the game. We'll join that action live in line after the boys contest after this one. A little longer halftime, we're told, in between the boys and girls as it is senior night. Two girls on the Marys or Oster 10 for the boys, as well as recognition of the Marys, the Bulldogs, head of the state. We'll give you those names here in a little bit. There's a floater up and down by Bren O'Neill. It's going to be off the left side of the board. No good. Marys goes one and done on that possession. Quickly, the other side is going to get up to Heck, right side. She goes cross court pass down along the baseline. Little three from the right corner is up and down for Addison Denny and Lomigo is hot here early on. There's going to be a foul on the inbound pass. That's going to be, I believe Meinhardt's going to pick up her first personal foul. Four threes already here for Walmigo in this contest in that first matchup against Marysville. They only hit seven in the contest, already over halfway there. First quarter action, 2.20 left to play. Raiders going to bring it against the man-to-man defense, brings it across the timeline here, gets it across. In the lane she goes, gets it off left side to O'Neal, runs a little pick and roll, ends up with Dressman top the key. Dressman's going to take a lot of contact there from Denny. No foul's going to be the call. It's going to end up a jump ball, going to stay with the Bulldogs. Number 30, Sarah Springer, first action now into the contest for Juan Amigo. Checking in on that Wildcats game. 16-3 to is that score against number nine ranked Baylor. Wildcats coming 14 in the nation. First quarter, act, first half action, 10:45 there on that one. Here's on the offensive board, up and down. Bren O'Neill almost got a man one opportunity, but she's going to go to the line after a good tough play. Sticking on that offensive glass will give the senior here an opportunity from the line. Personal foul is going to go against Pearson. That's going to be her first personal on the senior from the Red Raiders. Free throws up and down for O'Neill. Checking back into the contest. Haley Ingles will check in. Casey Rush will check in too as well as taking a seat on the bench will be Spurgeon and Dressman. 
second free throw off the front of the rim, hit every part, but still goes down for O'Neal as she gets the home. She gets the home roll on that one. She's going to take a seat on the bench as Maddie Cap checks senior for senior on that substitution. 148 left to play here, first quarter action. Marysville trailing 1120 against the number one ranked Wamigo Lady Raiders in class 1A. Three ball on the way from Pearson right side. That's going to be off and no good. Good rebound pulled down by Winkler. Winkler's going to get it off now to Raiders. She crosses the timeline. Marysville looking to cut this one closer than nine. Top of the key, it's going to be Dressman. Straight man-to-man still here for the Wamiga Raiders as both teams have been playing that here tonight. Marys will trying to pass. Screen away offense. Ingles is going to be ta- caught on the right elbow. They finally get it off into cap in the left corner. There's going to be a hand check foul out top. Let's see who they check this one on. That's going to go against Riley Meinhardt. So the ex-Bulldog is going to pick up her second personal foul. She's going to take a seat on the bench as Maya Gallagher will come back in now. One and one is going to be the call. Good job there, Coach Ben Wurtenberger, getting the officials' attention on that one. I hadn't even recognized that one. 17 foul here already for Walmigo will give. Marysville, the opportunity to shoot free throws here the rest of the way. 1-11 left to play first quarter. Only one team foul for Marysville so far. Rattling home the first free throw will be Bella Raiders. All starters now have scored in this contest. The 5-6 junior gets her first one to go down. Second one's going to go up and down, too, as well. Feels pretty good for Raider there in that first contest against Swamigo. Was held scoreless in that one. Looking to turn things around here later on in the season. Top the key, Wamiga's going to run a little give and go. It ends up with the ball in the hands of Ashton Pearson left side. The high-scoring senior is going to run point now for the Red White Raiders. She gets it off top the key to Springer. Now inside she goes. Pearson gets a little floater from the free throw line up and down. Ashton Pearson, she's got to be close to 100% from the field as now Wamiga pushes this one back up to 11. Raiders going to push the pace, come right back at the Raiders. Fight fire with fire. 30 seconds left to play. First quarter action here in Marysville. Senior night for the Bulldogs here. Plenty of time to get on down here. Got all three quarters in. Of course, the boys action coming up after this one. Here's a pass inside. It's going to go off about three or four hands. Ingles has it. It's going to get tangled up by Springer. And it's going to be back over to the Red Raiders way. Lexi Heck will check now back into the ball game. And Ren O'Neill will come back into the ball game. Cap will step out as coming out will be Ashton Pearson two for the Raiders. Black ball is going to be the call here. 17.4 to go while Miga's got the full length of the court to go. Let's see if Marysville can get a defensive stop to send them into the quarter, only trailing 11. Marysville, who led by as much as three there in this first quarter, trails by 11 here, 22 to 13. Seven seconds left. They're going to come near side here to Springer. Springer's going to get off the key. Three ball on the way. Right side from Denny's going to be far off the left side. Rebound pulled down by O'Neal, and that's going to send us into quarter break. At the end of one, 22-13, Raiders leading the Bulldogs. Tires aren't all the same, and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmsted and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmstedrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. 
Max Blasky back with you here in Marysville. 22 to 13 is our score as the Raiders lead the Bulldogs. The rematch of the game played back on January 13th, the game in which Omega won 83 to 25. So Marysville already halfway to that total. A good offensive output in that quarter as all starters scored for the Bulldogs. But Omega was just as hot as they hit four threes in that quarter. And once again, there's going to be a turnover Bulldogs as that was a cause for concern in that first quarter too as well. First turnover of the quarter is going to go the Bulldogs way while Mia is going to run a little screen and rub action. Top of the key with the ball in the hands of Heck. Up top, it's going to be tipped away nicely there by Rush. Going to stay with the Red Raiders though. Top of the key, a little floater is going to be up in an air ball from Heck. The freshman couldn't get that one to go after five points in the first quarter. Back over to the Bulldogs it goes. Straight man-to-man, full court press again here still for the Raiders. Started in that action. We'll continue the rest of the way. It's going to be Dressman bringing the ball across the timeline. She's going to look to go 90 feet. Sending there for a charge is going to be Lexi Heck. Bad shot on the other end. Make up for it on the defensive end. Drawing a charge there on Dressman. Good take by the sophomore, but just a little bit out of control as she went to the left side of that basket. It's going to be a first personal foul for the sophomore. Second team already for Marysville. Well, Mika with seven team fouls in that first half, so if the Bulldogs can get to a line, they're shooting the rest of the half. Three ball on the way from Heck as she airballs that one. Offensive rebound is going to be taken down by Denny. It's going to be fought for underneath between Dressman and Rush. It's going to end up going off of a Bulldog, off a shoelace it looked like. Somehow going to stay with Wamigo. Left side, they get it into Heck as they run a screen and roll top of the key for Hubler. Now it's Heck down the left-hand side. Marys will doing a good job of staying straight up. All rest of rebound pulled down, though, by Gallagher. And it's going to be, what's our call here? Foul on Marysville. Lindsey Dressman's going to, or excuse me, Haley Ingle's going to pick up her first personal foul. Third now. Substitution for the Raiders. Sarah Springer's going to check back out as back into the ball game. Comes Gallagher. Denny right side gets it off to Pearson left. Baseline drive, she goes. Walmiga doing a good job whipping it around here. Top the key against this man-to-man defense left side. It's finally going to be Denny driving left baseline. Shot's going to be up. Foul's going to be called. And Addison Denny's going to get a chance now from the strike. Back-to-back fouls there for Ingles, as I was just praising them moments ago for Marysville not being in foul trouble. Only one there in the first quarter. Now three quick ones as Denny's going to sink her first free throw. Substitution, Ingles will check out. Spurgeon will come back in. Substitution pending two for the Raiders, shot's going to be missed and no good on that free throw. So Denny goes one for two from the line while Miga leading by 10 now, 23 to 13. Six minutes left to play here, second quarter action. Senior night here in Marysville for the Bulldogs is down along the baseline. Nice little left-hand drive is going to be no good from Dressman. Offensive, offensive rebound is going to be put back up, though, by Dressman. As good hustle from the sophomore as she stays with it now. Five points here for her early on in this contest. Three ball straight away from Pearson right side. That's going to be off the rim. No good. O'Neal pulls down the board. Good backside rebounding there by O'Neal. Marys will need everyone they can to get in on this de- defensive rebounding here tonight. There's going to be a pass just off the hands. Lindsey Dressman, a little miscommunication there with Spurgeon. It's going to go out, out of her reach and turn over Bulldogs. Maddie Katz going to come back into the ball game. Rush will take a seat on the bench. Out will also come Denny for the Raiders. Back in will come Gallagher. Or Aubrey Alexander, excuse me, first action into the contest. Omega whipping it around here. We're going to go five out as they work a motion offense against man-to-man. 5.20 left to play here. Screen down, screen away. It's going to be Hubler right side. It's going to get a pick there from the before mentioned Alexander. Now left side, it's going to be Heck getting into the lane. Shot's going to be up and no good. Defensive rebound pulled down by Raider. Raider full court pass to O'Neal. O'Neal, nice little floater in the lane. It's going to be up and no good. Offensive rebound pulled down by Bryn, but it's going to be a jump ball. 
I believe, go back over towards the Raiders. Twenty-three fifteen is our score. Five minutes left to play here. Second period going on. Looking at what other action is going on along the NCK League here today. And halftime play center girls leading Concordia. And that is our only other game here this afternoon. So we'll keep you posted on that score as we go. Marys will get to Mac on a bad offensive possession for the Raiders. Shot in the lane is going to be put up by Cap. No good defensive rebound pulled down by Amigo as we go back the offensive way for the black and red. Right side that's going to be Heck getting it into the low post. Those shots up and no good from Gallagher. Defensive rebound pulled down there by Cap. Raiders going to bring it across the timeline, and with that, Coach Wurtenberger is going to want to take a timeout. We'll take it with him. 23-15 is our score as Amigo leads this one on senior night. Several all-new 2023s in stock at the Nordis Motor Company include the Buick Envision Essence and Buick Envision Avenar. They have a 2023 Buick Enclave, 2023 Chevy Traverse, and Chevy Equinox. Test drive a new 2023 at the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville today. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. back with you here in Marysville, KNUY 94.1 and AM 1570 joining you live. Of course, if you're looking for K-State basketball action, we'll join that one in progress as soon as these contests are done between Marysville and Walmigo. Looking at a live score check, number 14 K-State is trailing by one to number nine Baylor, 23-24 438 left to play in the first half in that contest. Here in Marysville, Amigo leading 23-15. Let's make that 26-15 as three ball from Ashton Pearson hits the net from the right side. That's her second triple here so far this evening as she pushes this lead out back to 11 for Amigo. Ingles back into the contest with those two fouls. Ball's going to be taken away, top of the key, but that ends up back in the hands of O'Neal. Straight away, three ball from Bella Raider is going to go up and down as she gets her first triple here of this evening to go. Raider in the last contest against Clay Center, 12 points in that one, all three balls. So let's see if she can get it, keep it going here on a Tuesday night. Inside, it's going to go to Gallagher. It's going to be a offensive foul on Mia Gallagher as she used that elbow to clear out. Turnover while Mia goes back now towards Marysville. Substitutions now for the Raiders. Gallagher's going to check out. Alexander's back out. Meinhardt's in. There's a steal first time right off the tip. Subler's going to get the two, but the steal made by Pier- Ashton Pearson as she took it away right off the inbounds pass. Two points for Amigo. Tubler's going to pick up a second personal foul now on this inbounds play. That's going to send her to the bench with her second and will send, I believe, Lindsey Dressman to the line here for a one-and-one opportunity. Dressman in the last contest against Clay Center, 11 points, three for four from the line. Let's see what she's got on her first one. Nothing but net on that one. Albany announcers jinx. As soon as you talk about it, they'll make it. First free throw up and down for Dressman. Second one coming now for the sophomore. Shot's going to be off the right side. It's going to go bouncing towards the corner. Pulled down there by Denny. And Almiga will come the other way. Marysville cuts it back to down within nine. They had a three-point lead real early on in that third quarter, but have kept it here at ten. There's going to be a near turnover. It's going to end up in the hands of Marysville. It's going to be a jump ball as it went off the fingertips of Meinhardt. Picking up that loose ball was Cap. She's going to pick up the possession now for the Bulldogs. 
And mountain in front of her own bench will be Rush. She gets it nicely into Raider. 2.50 left to play here. First quarter, Bella's going to bring it across the timeline, guided partly, tightly by Ashton Pearson. Almost, almost stole it there on left side, but she's going to keep it in her hands. 2.40 left to play, second quarter, 28-19 is our score. Nice little runner down the right-hand side of the lane. Bella Raider toilet bowled around the front of the rim, went off the left side, but it is going to stay with the Bulldogs here. And they have been doing a good job, Marysville, getting being able to get to the rim and get some shots up here, here against this Wamiga defense that only allows 32 points per game on the season. Marysville already here at 19. Inside the lane, a lot of contact there by Dressing off the shot up. No foul on the shot, but then we're going to have an offensive foul. Well, that we are. Casey Rush, the freshman, is going to pick up her first personal foul. A little too rough going for that offensive board. Don't hate the hustle. There on that one. 29 or 28 19 our score. Amigo brings it here left to right, top to key. Three ball straight on is going to go up and down. Alexis Heck with her second triple here of the night as Wamigo has been hot from deep from the very start. Marysville has a little trouble getting it in. They finally do to Raider. She's going to bring it across the timeline, still guarded by Pearson. Just rolled under two minutes here before halftime. Of course, keep it right here. We're going to go over stats and scores from that first half as well as look at the the wrestling team that is heading off the state under head coach Cole Fredrickson heading off Friday. Friday and Saturday out at Hayes. Good luck to all the Marysville wrestlers. Raider got into the line, drew a foul there on the layup. Foul's going to go against Pearson, so the senior now picks up the fifth. That's nine team fouls for Wamigo. Raider's going to miss the front end of the one and one after going two for two from the line in that first quarter. Pearson's going to try and get to her right hand. Good job cutting her off quickly by Cap. Three ball on the way from Heck. She can't get that one to go. Backside rebound pulled down by Meinhardt. Now she's going to try three from the left side. Getting that is Riley Meinhardt, and that's going to force Swamigo to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. Red Raiders leading 39-19. to if you're 50 or over, it may be time to switch your auto and home insurance. The AARP Auto and Home Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Discover rates, benefits, and service designed for AARP members, plus extra savings when you insure both your auto and home. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Or visit copelandinsurance.net. Certain policy features not available in all states. Applicants are individually underwritten. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. Max Blasky back with you here in Marysville. 34-19 to 19 is that score miscommunication there before we took it to break. Marysville did a good job in that first four or five minutes. They stayed right with Wamigo, but it's been the hot shooting of the Red Raiders that have really pushed this lead out for them here in the second. Steel and the layup's going to be taken down by Heck. She can't get that one to fall. Meinhardt pulls down the offensive board. She's going to be proud kicking it back out. Going to give Wamigo an extra possession here. O'Neal's going to pick up her first personal foul. First on the senior here in this contest. Left side, Pearson tries to get into this Marysville defense. Bulldogs have done a good job so far shutting down the interior, but Wamigo has just been as hot from the outside as they have been anywhere here tonight. Shot's going to be missed by Meinhardt. O'Neal pulls down the board. Now Raiders going to run points. Just rolled under one minute left to play here before half. Raiders going to try and go coast to coast. She's going to get stopped left block, finds a cutting. Lindsey Dressman, shot inside is going to be no good, but a foul, I believe, on the shot is going to be the call. Addison Denny is going to pick up that first personal foul. So 10 team fouls now for Walmingo, a deep team, though, that has already gone nine here tonight. First free throw up and down for Dressman. She is now two for three here from the line in this quarter alone. Second free throw is up and down. Two for two there from the strike. 45 seconds left to play. Let's see if Bulldogs get a stop. 34-21 is our score before we go 
into halftime while Miga with possession here as we look at it. Pearson tries to get to her right hand, but good job cutting her off. Now top the key she goes. She gets it to Meinhardt right corner for three. That's going to be long, no good. Rebound pulled down by who else but Ashton Pearson. It's going to give the Red Raiders another possession and more than likely the last here of the half. Heck, top of the key as Walmigo goes four flat along the baseline. Tree's going to be pulled by Denny. Finds Denny on the roll. Left-handed layup shot. No good, but a hard foul by Dressman. Will send Denny to the line. Second personal now for the sophomore here. Stepping to the line will be Addison Denny. One for two already here in this quarter. First one's going to be up and no good. Long shot on that one. Only one to shoot a free throw so far here tonight for the Red Raiders is Addison Denny carrying the team average on her back with this next free throw as well. Second one, no good. One for four now from the contest. Rebound's going to be pulled down by Raider in the far corner. She's quickly going to be trapped but gets away with it. Now we have Dressman and Ingles with a run out down the left side. Raider's going to stop. Thought about a three left side. Kicks it out off the key cap. Caps and get off at the free throw line. No fouls to call. And while Miko heads into half, leading this contest 34 to 21. Keep it right here for halftime stats. Scores. You're listening to Mary's Bulldog Basketball on KNDY. How about a great job that you can rely on with a stable company offering great benefits? Be a part of a diversified company manufacturing essential products, trailers, tillage equipment, and forklifts. Landall is hiring for assemblers, welders, and painters at the Marysville, Waterville, and Beloit locations. Again, offering stable employment, excellent wages and benefit package, and growth opportunities. $500 to $1,000 hiring bonus. Apply online today at Landall.com or phone 562-5381 to learn more. RX Drug Store in downtown Marysville is here for you with over-the-counter medicines for cold, flu, and allergy season and prescription drugs for more serious matters. They also offer curbside pickup and delivery services. Don't forget to bring in your new insurance card for the new year with RX Drug Store. Make every job easier with one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. For any project inside or out, if you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, get the tools you need, including Milwaukee, DeWalt, Stanley, and more. Battery-operated tools offer the convenience and mobility with the power to get the job done quickly every time. Stocked with all the blades, bits, and accessories for your convenience as well. Check out the Power Tools selection today and get the work started on your schedule with Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtel Lumber. Back here in Marysville, halftime action 34 21 is the score. As the Wamigo Red Raiders lead this one, Wamigo held a 22 13 advantage at the end of the first quarter, put on another 12. Marys will then answer back though in that second quarter, an offensive outburst to say 18 points biggest production they've probably had close to all season in that one um as mary's are looking at scores for them lindsey dressman leads the way with eight bella raider pitched in five Bryn o'neill has four and two points apiece for haley ingles and maddie cap as all starters scored in that one looking at the red raiders 10 points for ashton pearson nine points for tristan subler Two in the contest back in January. He erupted for 21 and 24, respectfully, in that one. Eight points, two again for Lexi Heck. 21 in that last contest against Marysville. Four points, two as well in this one for Addison Denny. And three points for the ex-Bulldog, Riley Meinhardt. Looking at first half totals for both sides. Marysville went the way with rebounds, four rebounds. But Wamigo got after it. Forcing five steals and eight Marysville turnovers. Amigo kept a good track of that one, only allowing three turnovers on themselves. Second half action coming up here in just a little bit. Going to take a look at the Marysville wrestling team heading to state. Heading up on Thursday, as well as preview what else is going along in the NCK League, as well as TVL and a check of those Wildcats, too, as well. 
Here in half, 34-21 is our score. Wamigo leading the Bulldogs. You work night and day to get the crop in. You worry about the weather. You worry about prices. You have repairs to deal with at the worst possible times. It's a lot of work and a lot of worry. But when it's all said and done, you wouldn't trade places with anyone. Making things grow is in your blood. It's in ours, too. We're a community ag bank. Citizen State Bank. Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Save money and get free stuff. Seriously, download the CJ Go app before you fill up next time and earn exclusive deals and rewards. Earn points with every fill up and redeem those points for dollars off your purchase. Download the CJ Go app and use it at all CJ Express locations. Join, shop, and save with CJ Express in Marysville and Frankfurt. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express High Highway, Marysville, today. At Galloway Uyghurs and Brenniger, we're about building relationships, one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page, or at gwblaw.net. Max Blasky back with you here in Marysville. A halftime of the girls' contest. Raiders of Wamiga lead 34-21 to 21 in this one. Looking at the K-State game, that one's at halftime too as well. Cats trail by three in that one, 31-34. Of course, playing a good Baylor team in that contest there as well. Going to take a look at what else is going on in the NCK League. At halftime, Clay Center leading 25-17. to That's girls' action. And also at halftime, Chapman leading Abilene 25-19. to Looking at standings for, te- for the K- NCK. KL League. Wamigo, of course, is leading the way at 8-0 and on the season. Of course, they are ranked number one in Class 4A this year. Wamigo, 8-0. and Clay Center, 5-3. and Chapman, 5-4. and Marysville at 4-4. Four and four. Most of their majority of their wins have come here in league play. Concordia, 2-6. and six. And Abilene, 1-7. and seven. Last regular season game here for the Bulldogs. One more for Wamigo. They will face Concordia Thursday night to make a game from last week's snow out between the Panthers and the Red Raiders. But for the Bulldogs, senior night here tonight, boys matchup coming up here after this girls one will be an excellent one. One that Marysville was able to get a win though back on the 13th of January 49-28 to with a competitive game coming up here in boys action. Second half action coming up here for you. 34-21 is our score. You're listening to Marysville High School Bulldogs basketball on KN D-Y. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. Spring 2023 with savings on your Blue Valley Internet bill. If you increase your speed this spring, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience. Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. 
Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. Max Flasky back with you here in Marysville as the Bulldog Cup band gets us ready here for second half action. 34-21 is our score in this one. Marysville scored 13 points in that first quarter, one of their more productive quarters here on the season. But the hot shooting of Walmiga was the story. They hit seven threes in that contest. 21 of their 34 points came from behind the arc. Marysville did a good job, obviously, of staying in front of their man and not letting them get to the basket. But this hot shooting Walmingo team that averages 62 points a game, right on pace for that one here tonight. Marysville going to need to find a way to get some stops and roll this offense on here into the second half. Walmingo's going to get their first possession. They're going to go left, down low. First one right off the bat. Kicks it back out. Pearson for left side three. Shot up no good. And pulling down the board is Bridget. Bren O'Neill. That's already five boards here for the 5-5 five five Bren O'Neill on senior night here in Marysville. So Bren going out with a bang in her last contest. A little ticky-tack foul is going to be the call up top on Addison Denny. It's going to be a foul nonetheless on Walmigo. She's going to get a substitution as Meinhardt checks back in. Walmigo had some troubles there with foul trouble in that first half. At one point, Walmigo had 17 fouls, while Marysville only had one. There's going to be a shot from Kep. It's going to be off the board. Ingles tried to save it for the Bulldogs. Did a good job of keeping an arm on it to try and force a jump ball, but it will be no dice as it goes off her foot. Goes back now to the Red Raiders. Tom Bikey, Hubler is going to run point now. She gets it off the Pearson right side. Pearson just continues to route along the baseline. Left corner, three pocket. It leads into an Alex Alexi Heck three. And Wamiga starts this second half just where they left that first half. Hot from deep. Breaking the press all by herself is Dressman. Dressman finds Cap down along the right block. Now gets it off the Eagles right behind her. Eagles can't hit the six-footer. As Marysville had a golden opportunity on that one to get two points back from the three. Three ball back the other way. No good from Heck as the heat check is going to be no good. But a foul down below on Marysville fighting for that defensive rebound. Kaylee Ingles, the junior, is going to pick up her third foul. So questions now. For Coach Wurtenberger, looks like we'll have a substitution in at the next net ball. Top of the key, it's going to be Heck left side. She finds a streaker down the right side, up and down. Kristen Hubler is going to get her first bucket here of the second half on the nice feed from Pearson. That foul is going to go against Bill or, or Lindsey Dressman. So now Dressman with three and Ingles with three. Ingles will take a seat on the bench. Free throw is up and down now for Hoover. Now she has 12 points into the contest. Casey Rush will be the substitution for Dressman. So Cap, Rush, O'Neill, Raider, and Spurgeon will be here. Five out there for the Bulldogs. Raider's going to break this full court pressure for Almigo fairly easily. Now get into a set. O'Neill's going to go left side. It's going to be tipped off, tipped off by Pearson. Pearson down the right side. Up and good. Ashton Pearson gets a two and a runaway deuce, and that's going to force Ben Wurtenberger to take a timeout. We'll take it with him while Migo pushing it out, 42 to 21. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh-as-new look. 
Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential builds. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's J.D. Construction. Back here on Senior Night in Marysville. Talked about it at halftime. Forgot to give you wrestlers heading off to state. We'll go ahead and run through those at quarter break and probably boys halftime too as well as we're going to have a big halftime or in-between game ceremony. Ten senior boys for the Bulldogs here tonight. Two for the ladies, of course, Bryn O'Neill and Maddie Cap. Cap so far tonight there with two points to her name. O'Neill with four, but O'Neill also with five rebounds. So putting it all out there here as the Bulldogs trail the Red Raiders 42-21. to 21. Foul down low against Wamigo. That's a little bit too much contact. It's going to be the call from the up-top official. That's going to go against Lexi Heck. Freshman's going to pick up her second. Inbound's going to get off to Raider. She's going to try a step back about 12-footer from the right side. It's going to be no good. One and done again now for the Bulldogs. Left side is going to be Pearson initiating the offense. Three ball on top of the key from Heck is going to be no good. But we're going to have a foul on cap. So Maddie's going to pick up her first personal foul, trying to get out to the shooter on that one, just ran through the screen setter. Romigo will keep it underneath their own basket. Hoobler's going to get it. Little jumper from the free throw line. No good. Rebound pulled down by O'Neal. O'Neal gets it poked away from Heck. From behind, Heck takes it away. Now going to set up Pearson for three right side. Nope, didn't think better about it. Gets it off now to Heck. Palmiga's going to set up offense. That's going to be a carry on Lexi Heck. So turnover, Palmiga, and back to the Bulldogs that will go. Just now joining us, Marysville Trail 22 to 13 at the end of the first quarter. Trail 34 to 21 at the end of the first half. 42 21 is our score here as we play 5 16 left to go. Third quarter action. Marysville did a good job in the first couple minutes of this contest, staying with the Walmigo Red Raiders offensively. Marysville even held the early 10 to 8 advantage, but Walmigo just got to be too much here for the Bulldogs as in this contest while Miguel has already sank eight three-pointers, seven in that first half. That really helps this Omega team jump out to the lead that they have here tonight. Raiders going to try left side, kicks it out to O'Neal in the corner. O'Neal tries to hit Dressman off the key. That's going to be a turnover down the right side. Up and no good by Hubler. That Wamigo gets their own offensive board. Good hustle there by Haley Ingles to get back and force that miss. Shot in the lane up and down by Maya Gallagher. The senior's going to get her first points here in the contest third quarter about midway through. Foul's going to go against Ingles, and that's going to be the fourth now on the junior. So with four, Coach Wernberger will go to his bench. Ingles going to take a seat back into the contest. Caden Spurgeon, the 5'8 junior, will get some playing time here. Sec- or one free throw is going to be up and down by Gallagher. Flamiga so far here tonight, if there's one thing they haven't been, and that's efficient from the free throw line, they're 50%, three for six on the contest so far here in this one. A little loose ball. It's going to end up going off the hands of Spurgeon. Not sure how that one happened, but a turnover again. Marysville on the offensive end. Is this going to come back while Migo? The Bulldogs just shooting themselves here in the foot, and that's kind of been a problem a little bit all year. Kind of up and down, not finding that consistency so far. And against this good while Migo team, they have played good, but almost need to play perfect. Inside the lane, it's going to go 
Huber now kicks it outside. Meinhardt, left corner three. That's going to go off the front of the rim. No good. Board pulled down by Dressman. Dressman has the ability. Will run point. Gets it off to O'Neal. Left-handed layup. Up and down for Bryn O'Neal. Six points now here for the senior on senior night as that's Marysville's first points in this third quarter as they come with four minutes left to play in this third. Backdoor cut. Hoover's going to get it off the feet from Meinhardt and up and down. Tristan Hoover's going to answer back that, too. And while Migo wants a timeout, we'll take it with him. 47-23 is our score. Are you done yet? I need to get ready. Well, maybe you should have gotten up sooner. You've been in there for an hour. Come on, I need in there. Does this happen at your home? Would you like to eliminate all the yelling and buy a bigger house? Well, you can by talking with United Bank and Trust about home loans. Go online to www.ubankonline.com or head to your local branch to visit with a loan officer. United Bank and Trust. You bank, we deliver. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. 47-23 is our score. Four minutes left to play here. Third quarter action of the girls' contest. Of course, coming up at halftime, Marysville will honor all of these seniors. Of course, big shout-out to all the seniors in the area. Four years of hard work and perseverance paying off here tonight in the last Collegiate Ball game for many of them. Pass inside is going to be intended for Dressman from Raider. Meinhardt comes from the weak side. going to push that one away. Another turnover, Marysville, as into the lane will go Springer. The junior will be pushed from behind. Lindsey Dressman is going to pick up now her fourth personal. So Dressman and Ingles, both with four personal fouls. Coach Wurtenberger juggles those here the last 12 minutes. Free throw up and down by Springer. First points here for the junior in the contest. Grace Winkler will come back into the contest. Senior Maddie Cap as well. As out will go Bryn O'Neill and the aforementioned Dressman. Second free throw up and down for Springer. Two for two there from the line as now in this second half, Amigo is four for four from that free throw strike. Into the corner, Marys, Marysville goes to rush. Rush guarded tightly by Meinhardt. Finally gets it off to Winkler, top of the key, trying to feed it inside to Ingles. Marysville trying to work it inside. By the dribble, one way or the other, Bella Raider's going to get her way inside. That's now seven points for the junior here. First two of the second half. Cuts it down 49 to 25. Springer's going to get inside the lane there as Walmigo continues to work it around the edge. Nice hands there by Cap as she forces the turnover on Walmigo. Marysville comes back the other way. That's only turnover number five unofficially here for Walmigo on this contest. So Red Raiders have done a good job of holding on to that ball. Left side, it's going to go cap. She's going to try and find it into Rush. She's going to make a little floater along that right side. Rush touched it, and it's going to stay white ball. They're going to stay with the Bulldogs. Ashton Pearson back into the contest along with Addison Denny. Out will go Springer along with Hubler. Cap will inbound it, top of the key there to Raider. Raider has a little trouble with it, but controls it. Raggles that one back down as she sets up the offense. Goes left side to Winkler now, trying to get it to the high post. Finds a little baseline cutter. That's going to be a double dribble on Cap. Cap had a good look from the left side. Had three Wamigo defenders closing down on her. Turnover, Marysville gives it back now to the Red Raiders. Looking for a little defense here in Marysville. 49-25 is our score. There's what they're needing, a turnover while Nigo. Addison Denny just checked into the game, tried to use a little drop step from the left block. It's going to be a turnover. She keeps those happy feet moving. Marysville now opportunity to cut into this lead. Back-to-back turnovers for Wamiga, something we haven't seen, of course, all night here tonight. See if Marysville can take advantage of this one and put two up on the board. 
49-25 is our score. Two minutes left to play here. Third quarter action of the girls' game. Of course, keep it tuned right here in between them. That's a nice little shot up and down by Spurgeon as she gets her first bucket of the afternoon to go. Mention it, keep it right here. Boys action will follow between Walmigo as Marysville's low at halftime. We'll have weather news and, of course, Coach Scott Brown's pregame interview. Turnover Walmigo, back-to-back-to-back turnovers for the Red Raiders. As Denny couldn't find the mark on that one, she's going to take a seat on the bench along with Meinhardt as back into the contest will come Gallagher and along with Alexander. Raider brings it across the timeline. Bella doing a good job running point here and has all season for the Bulldogs. They're going to go left block inside again to Spurgeon, who just had it to herself. She can't get the second one to fall down from the left block. Marysville's going to go one and done again here. Pearson calls for a screen, now denies it, working along at left block against Raider. Nice feed up. Raider's going to get the block, but she's going to have that left hand on the shoulder. Good recovery there on the pick and roll by Bella Raider but she will send Andre Alexander to the line first shot's going to be up and down for McKee actually had this all wrong in my little notes here number four is Kirby McKee a 5'7 senior so we're going to have to change that around He gets her second one to go down there now, too, as Walmigo is six for six from the free throw stripe in the second quarter after they went one for four in the first half. Shooting continues to stay hot for the Raiders. Speaking of Raider, Bella Raider gets into lane. Shot's going to be altered a little bit, taken away by Pearson, as once again Marysville goes one and done. Final 50 seconds here of the third quarter. It's going to be Pearson running a double screen top to key at the elbow. Gets it off now nicely to Gallagher. Gallagher's going to go to work on the right-hand side of the lane. She gets all the way from the left to the right-hand side. Foul's going to go against Caden Spurgeon. The junior's going to pick up her first personal foul. As that's going to be 17 fouls already for Marysville. So opposite of that first half where Amigo had 19 fouls and Marysville only had one. Exact opposite here in this one. Free throw up and down for Gallagher. One for one from the line earlier in this quarter. Going to make her two for two. Let's see how she does here on this one. Now to Jake Zinnewert on that one as she goes two for two from the line, pushes this one up 53 to 27. Raider brings it across the timeline, left side, now gets it off to O'Neill, guarded tightly by Pearson. Pearson's going to hound her as they get it into Spurgeon, up and one! Hayden Spurgeon coming in off the bench, four points now for the junior, only bench points for the Bulldogs in this one, but all four in the third quarter as they continue to work her on that left block, and she's going to reward them with a free throw opportunity. And she will be good on that free throw opportunity. One for one there for the line from the junior. 53-30 is our score. 22 seconds left to play here. Third quarter action. Juanmillo has led from the get-go in this one. They work it inside nicely. Left block, spin around shot is up and no good from Gallagher, but offensive rebound pulled down by Pearson. Going to give Juanmillo another opportunity with six seconds. Pearson from the left side, three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Spurgeon. Going to get it off to Raider. Half-court shot, not in time. Juanmillo leading this one as we roll into the fourth quarter, 53-30. to You're listening to High School Basketball on the home of the Bulldogs, KNDY. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. If you need a tractor that's small but mighty, Can Equip in Marysville has just the ticket. The Workmaster 25S subcompact tractor from New Holland. With 25 horsepower, a three-point hitch, rear PTO, and mid-PTO, it handles chores a garden tractor just can. Plus, this economical tractor gives you deluxe comfort and simple two-pedal operation that makes it easy to mow, load, dig, grade, and more. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville to learn more about the Workmaster 25S.
Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. Max Blasky back with you here. Fourth quarter action just getting started for the Walnego Red Raiders and the Marysville Lady Bulldogs. 53-30 to 30 is our score here as Walnego has led from the tip in that quarter. Lowest scoring output for Marysville so far in the game. But Bren O'Neill is going to get the scoring started here in this fourth quarter. Three ball from the left wing is going to get this crowd going into it. And as people are starting to file in here on this wonderful Tuesday night, of course, if you're looking for last high school basketball action on the season, swing on down here to the high school. Got a good one between the Bulldogs and the Red Raiders coming up in boys' action. It is, of course, senior night. We'll highlight all of those boys and girls at halftime along with head coach Scott Brown's last and final pregame coaches interview. Raiders going to pick up her second personal foul on the defensive end as back offensively while Migo went right to Ashton Pearson. Then has had a quiet second half, had 10 points in that first half, only two in that third quarter. She's going to knock down her first free throw here of the fourth. She had a big contest against the Bulldogs back on the 13th. Pearson ended up with 21 points, had 18 in the first quarter, then cooled off in the second. Can't find the mark from the line on the second one and an over-the-back foul call is going to be the contest. Denny is going to pick up her first, or fourth, excuse me, as she goes to the contest. Goes to the bench. Nineteen points for the Red Raiders in that third quarter offensively after they scored twenty-two in that first. Marysville here offensively goes back inside to Spurgeon. She's going to get her first shot partially blocked. Is going to stay with it though. And it's going to be a jump ball. Send it back over. Oh, no, we're going to have a foul. Caden Spurgeon is actually going to pick up a personal going for that offensive rebound. Meinhardt now will be shooting here from the line. Meinhardt's first free throw. No good, but offensive rebound up and no good there. Quite by Gallagher as Spurgeon pulls down the board. And now Marysville will bring it offensively. Stolen away right side out of the pocket of the Raider. Taken by Pearson. She's going to save a possession for Walmigo. Take a timeout, and you know what? We'll take it with them. 54-33 is our score. Walmigo leading this one as the fourth quarter rolls on. Get away with a shopping day at Reflections Hallmark. Beautiful home decor pieces, scented candles, last-minute gift ideas for any reason, plus Hallmark cards as well as fabulous boutique clothing and accessories. For yourself, for your home, for someone else, shop Reflections Hallmark in downtown Marysville. And remember, they do custom picture framing with lots of frames and matting choices. You're always welcome. Thanks for shopping local. Reflections Hallmark, downtown Marysville. When it comes to serving the financial needs of this area, we have the home court advantage. This is our home. We know the area. We know the local economy. Bank with us. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. Max Blasky back here in Marysville. 57-33 is our score as we play fourth quarter action here between the Bulldogs 
and the Wamiga Red Raiders. Story, story of the game has been turnovers, I think, for the Bulldogs. 14 in this contest have led to a lot of Wamiga Red Raiders' easy buckets. First substitution now in for Marysville as a few players get some playing action here. Dahlia Fry, the 5'4 sophomore, is going to be now checked in as her first shot's going to be up and no good. Hayden Spurgeon gets the offensive board and will be fouled down below. On the inbound, they're going to go to the before-mentioned Fry. She's going to be fouled again, so back-to-back quick fouls there for Heck for Flamigo. There's going to be a turnover there. Pearson takes it away on the inbounds pass quickly down the other end of the court against Raider, and it's going to be a travel on Ashton Pearson. Pearson only here with 13 points in this contest. Very good offensively, but been very impressed with her defensively as she has absolutely hounded Bella Raider at that point guard position here tonight. Made it very difficult for the Bulldogs to get any sense of offensive set. Underneath their own basket, it'll be Cap to be your inbounder. She goes up top to Fry. Now Fry's going to get it back into Cap right block as she works one on one against Meinhardt. Shot's going to be up, no good. Board pulled down nicely there by Gallagher. One and done again for the Bulldogs. I don't think any offensive rebounds here for Marysville. If there has been, it's been few and far between. Three ball on the way from Heck. It's going to be no good, but Board pulled down. Again by O'Neal. 57-33 is our score. Fourth quarter action of this girls contest here. Of course, boys coming up just moments after that. O'Neal gets right to the rim but can't get the soft little floater to go down. As now that's back-to-back unlucky breaks here for the Bulldogs on the offensive end. Pearson gets back into the lane. Now kicks it out. Down the right-hand lane she goes. Up shot. No good. Foul's going to be the call as Ashton Pearson will step back now to the line. Last contest here for the Bulldogs on the season. Substate will kick off Thursday. Brackets will, of course, come out tomorrow. Keep it tuned to sunflowerstateradio.com. We'll have those brackets up just as soon as they come around, as well in our noon and 5 o'clock news block. One more game for Wamigo as they look to close out the season Thursday night against Clay Center. That's going to be a makeup game for, between the Red Raiders and the Tigers. The contest from last Thursday when that snow came through. Ashton Pearson goes two for two from the line. Senior now here. With 15 points to her name as she takes a seat on the bench, more than likely done here for the contest as it is 59-33 here while Miga leading. In the lane, Raider gets shots to be up and no good, but that's going to be a charge is the call. Raider did a good job getting past her girl, but just a little bit too deep on that one. Really close. Foul nonetheless on Raider is going to be her fourth now. Four personal fouls for Raider, Ingles, and Dressman as we play fourth quarter action. Marysville came out hot in the first quarter of this one, only trailed Wamigo 13-22. to Might not seem like a lot, but for a game that was very lopsided back on January 13th, 83-25, to it was a close score in that one. Marysville just wasn't able to do much after that first quarter, though, as they scored eight in the second and only nine in the third. Wamigo, on the other end, scored 12-19. and as they really push their lead out there at halftime. Lexi Hex at the line, four, three free throws. Top of the key, she shot it away. Dahlia Fry didn't let her, excuse me, Grace Wingler didn't let her land where she was supposed to, so a foul on the miss shot. Three free throws now for Heck as she goes three for three. our score. Bulldogs trailing here in this one and half from the get-go. Marysville's going to go inside to Haley Ingles, who has been quiet in this contest. Only two points for the leading scorer for the Bulldogs this year. Two points for her. Two points for Maddie Cap. Eight points so far for Lindsey Dressman. Nine for Brent O'Neill. Seven for Bella Raider. And off the bench, Kata Spurgeon has pitched in five. She had back-to-back there in the third quarter. Gave Marysville a little hope, but it has been all Wamigo from the get-go. 
Maryville's going to unmount it underneath their own basket. That's going to be Grace Winkler. She's going to go top of the key towards Bella Raider. Raider's going to get it left side off to O'Neill as they try and find a streaking dressman top of the key. They finally do it the left elbow, but she's going to get it knocked out of her hands by Meinhardt. We're going to have a jump ball back over towards the Raiders. Senior night here in Marysville as they get all the senior parents ready for this introduction in between the boys and the girls game. A little bit longer in between games we're going to have. So, of course, keep it right here as soon as this one ends. We'll have stats and scores from it as well as weather news. And, of course, head coach Scott Brown's pregame interview last one of the season. Tressman tries to get to her spot on the left-handed side of the floor. She's going to be fouled real hard, take a nice little bounce off the floor, pop right back up. That foul's going to go against Meinhardt, her third personal. She's going to take a seat for the ex-Bulldog. As checking back into the contest will be Addison Denny. Lindsey Dressman at the line here. Three for four in the contest from the free throw line. Hasn't scored since that second quarter, but we're going to change that with a free throw. Thinks the first one, nothing on, nothing but net on that one. Two dribbles right hand, nice deep breath. Free throw is going to go halfway down and out. No dice there for Dressman. She's going to stay at nine for the contest. Red Raiders come the other way. Offensively here, leading 62-34, to 34, down along the baseline, up and down, Addison Denny. A nice, strong move along that right block was matched up with Lindsey Dressman, and that's going to be the fifth now on Dressman. First free throw is going to be up and down. I think they're probably going to count it. Yeah, they will go ahead and count that one as Maddie Cap, the senior, will check back into the game. That'll do it for Lindsey Dressman here on her home court sophomore season. Going to end this contest with nine points. Foul out here with three minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Then he converted the old-fashioned three-point play. On the other end for Wamigo, here's going to be a shot up from Raider. It's going to be no good, but Heck's going to get her on the arm as Lexi Heck is going to pick up now her fourth personal foul. Substitution for the Raiders as we empty the bench. That's going to be Kayla Adams, Greer Panzer. Isabel Wibbler, Sarah Pittenger Reed, and I think we got one more top of the key. I believe that's going to be Kirby McKee back out there. So, Palmino clears the bench for their end. Second free throw is going to be up and down there for Raider as she sinks the front end of both of those. Brings our score down 65 34. Two minutes left to play here in this contest. With this loss here tonight, this will bring the Bulldogs to 5 and 14 on the season. We'll drop them below 500 in NCK League play. We'll drop down to 4 and 5 now for Amigo. They're going to continue their winning streak. They'll move on to 18 and 1, 9 and 0 in league play. Of course, ranked number one in Class 4A. And look to continue their hot streak as we move on into sub-state season. Last loss for the Raiders was back on January 17th at Bonner Springs. That was a 10-point loss to a state-ranked Bonner Springs team. So Amigo has had everyone's number since then. Raiders going to be back at the line as she was found on the offensive end. Cal's going to go against Reed first one. Second free throw is going to go down and good for Raider as she's now four for four here from the strike in this contest. 11 points leading score now for Marysville in this one. 47 seconds to go as we wind down the season here in Marysville. Of course, substate brackets will come out Wednesday afternoon for both of these boys and girls teams. Won't know until then. More than likely, girls will be looking to play on the road on Thursday. Boys will be at home on Friday. 
Inside, up and down for Aubrey Veering. The sophomore's getting into the contest here now. First two for the sophomore. As clock will look to run. Veering's free throw is going to be up and no good. Rebound pulled down, though, nicely by Fry. Fry's going to get credit for the offensive rebound, but nonetheless. Top of the key, Kinsley's going to run point now for the Raiders. Three seconds on the clock into the lane. Falls loose on the floor, and that's going to end it. 65 to 39 is your final score as Marysville drops to 5 and 14 on the season while Nigo moves on to 18 and 1. Keep it tuned right here. We're going to have first and wrap up stats from that contest as well as preview the boys' contest here on Senior Night in Marysville.